Let's bring in uh, Atlanta News first anchor Savannah Louie at our first alert breaking news desk. Savannah? Yeah, and I mean, guys, like you said, not only are we in the middle of the day, it, it, this is a very popular area. This is where, like you said, we have people visiting from out of town along with folks who go down there and work down there every single day. And so to have that sense of security shattered, very chilling for some of them. Atlanta News First spoke with a man who was actually in that food court area when this shooting happened. He walked out after those gunshots were fired, and he shared with us a little bit about what was going on in his head and what he saw on the ground. Take a listen. I was walking down the street and next thing you know, pop, 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 pop. Both shooting out there. I was like, what's going on? And then next thing you know, like 10 minutes later, the cops come swarming down. They was, they was over here. They almost, they almost hit that boy on the curb over there. And that's how serious it was. Next thing you know, you look up, the, hel the helicopter's up in the sky. So it was just a lot of chaos at the time. I was like, wow. Mm. And now you're taking a live look at that situation right here. Number of first responders on the scene here after four people were shot. And we've actually just got new details into our newsroom about some of the people who have been injured in this shooting. Sources close to this investigation confirm with Atlanta News First that two of these victims are male, two are female. The shooter, who again is one of those victims, was a male. We've also learned that two of them have been taken to Grady, and the other two have been taken to Emory hospitals. And again, that is a total of four people, including that suspect who have been injured in a shooting downtown Atlanta. This happening at Peachtree Center Food Court just about a little over an hour ago today. And I mean, again, what you're seeing here is the follow up, the details of the, this investigation on your screen here. A number of first responders there. We have Atlanta PD. We have Atlanta Fire also who were on that scene earlier. We saw Victims being loaded into ambulances about just about an hour ago uh, following this shooting here. The scene right here, though, very, very different than what we saw about an hour ago. About an hour ago, you had a lot of chaos. And that, that's, I mean, what we just heard, too, from from that witness who we just spoke with, uh, who, whose interview we aired for you guys uh, just a couple of minutes ago. Um, we have learned also a little bit about the condition of those folks who have been shot. We've learned that all of them are alert, conscious, and breathing. That's good news for uh, all those who have been involved in that shooting. And again, one of the things that we've been touching on this afternoon, this all happening in a very popular, very populated section of Atlanta, in downtown Atlanta. This is where people live, work, and play. MARTA is very, very close. There's a MARTA station very, very close to where this is incident occurred. Uh, I do want to also touch on something that we heard from MARTA. This is confirmed by the MARTA Police Department. They say to us uh, MARTA was not impacted, but they are assisting. The station is not affected at this time. So if you are one of the folks who takes MARTA downtown or who may take uh, MARTA from your work downtown, maybe outwards uh, to go home or to pick up the kids or move on to other afternoon or evening activities. The MARTA station, very close to this area, has not been impacted. MARTA also tells us they have their special operations response team and tactical field officers assisting APD and patrolling the station. So again, if you take MARTA, and this is of any concern to you, be aware that there will be a heavier police presence and a higher security presence on the ground as well. Now, as we look toward the rest of the evening, here's what we can expect. We do expect to hear from authorities sometime soon as to what exactly happened earlier today. What we know right now, again, four people have been shot. They are recovering. They are alert, conscious, and breathing. But we don't know Authorities haven't shared any insight into what led up to this altercation. We're still working to learn some of the details. We have a crew on the ground right there. We have a couple of crews on the ground right, uh, right there who are working to get those details, who have been speaking with witnesses to get a little context about uh, some of the chaos that occurred earlier today. And as we learn more, we're going to bring you all the latest updates. But again, we do expect to hear from Atlanta police later on today. We also have been hearing from Atlanta Mayor Andre Dickens through the afternoon. He's been sharing a little bit of insight with us um, on social media. Earlier today, he, he tweeted a little bit about the incident, explaining that four people were shot. One of the victims was the uh, original shooter, and he was shot. The mayor also indicating that all involved are still alive. AFRD, that's Atlanta Fire, are on the scene rendering aid alongside APD.
And again, asking people to avoid the area on your screen right here is that tweet from Mayor Andre Dickens that was sent out just about 30 minutes ago. He sent out another initial tweet before this with uh, fewer details. But again, as we look toward the afternoon, we are getting more details into our newsroom from authorities, from first responders. And I think really the most important message for the public here, if you look at that tweet, avoid the area. And you can see right here exactly why. A number, we have dozens and dozens of first responders, of officials who are on the scene, not only making sure that everybody's safe and that everything is calm, but also working to learn more about the investigation. And again, that's one of the things that we're pushing for right now. We're working to get those answers for you. As we are asking those questions about what happened, who these victims are, what led up to the shooting, we are passing them on to you directly, live on air. You